Hello artists, today we're gonna to make some vertical art. You've got a piece of paper, make sure your name and table code are on the back, and then we're gonna use these cool tempera paint sticks to color our background. So I'm gonna draw a sun, and I'm gonna do a sky, I'm making it kind of swirly-whirly, add a little white cloud in there. Go right to the edges, you wanna color the whole paper, all right? So once I've got that on there, then I can take another blue and add a little few more swirls to it. I love drawing swirls. I'm also going to add like a tree branch. Now you don't have to add a tree branch. You, I'm going to put my birds sitting on a tree, but your birds might be flying. It's up to you. It's really fun to draw with these paint sticks. They go on really smooth. It's very satisfying. All right, so once I've got enough leaves on there, I decided that I would um, add a few little berries for decoration. I don't know why. I just felt like it. All right, we're gonna put that aside and make our birds now. So you've got two pieces of paper, origami paper, and the circle tracers, a glue stick, a yellow square, and some stick-on eyes. Take one of the pieces of paper, doesn't matter which, turn it over and use the big circle tracer to trace it. Now keep your hand flat on there so it doesn't move around, and then you're gonna cut that circle out. Now I know some of you have told me you're not very good at cutting, but that's why we do these things, so that you can practice and get better at it. Just take your time, follow that line, and remember to turn the paper, not the scissors. All right, now once you've done that, you're gonna fold that circle in half, and that's gonna be the, our bird's body once we cut it in half, so we've got two half circles now. All right, put that aside. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the smaller one, but see how I'm putting the smaller one in the corner of the paper? Because I don't wanna waste paper. We can use that again later. All right, so I'm gonna cut that out and I'm gonna use my scissors again, very carefully following that line. Take your time, practice makes perfect. All right, so once you've got that circle done, see how much space we have? If somebody else wanted to circle that out of that paper, they, there's still room for it, although we're gonna use it for something else. All right, so I'm gonna fold my paper in half again and cut it, so now I have small semicircles. Those are gonna be our bird's wings cut my square in half so I've got some beaks and we're ready to start assembling. Now if you wanted your bird to look different you and a friend could mix up and share papers if you'd like but I'm gonna have mine be all the same. All right so I'm gonna assemble it on top of my background now. I'm gonna take the uh, big semicircle and I'm gonna put the rounded part towards the bottom of the page and then I'm gonna use a smaller one as a wing my triangle, the triangles can go on either way. It depends if your bird is singing or if your bird is being quiet. This bird's singing and the stick on eye. And then assemble the other one. It's gonna be sitting on a lower branch. Make sure you've got enough glue on there that it sticks, but that it's not oozing out all over the place. Remember, use the glue stick, not the white glue. Now this one, I'm gonna put the beak on the other direction. It's not singing, it's just listening to its friend. All right, stick on the eye and stick on another wing. Now, we have that extra paper left over. I have an idea. I'm gonna fold the paper and I'm going to draw half of a heart and then I'm gonna cut that out and then I will have a full heart and I'm gonna use that as the tail for my birds. Now, not all the birds have tails in my samples. This is something I just thought of right now, actually, but I think it's a nice little addition. All right, now we're making these paper birds and soon we're gonna make clay versions of them. But I thought we should sort of practice with paper first. All right, there you go. I can't wait to see all the really sweet birds that you guys make. All right, go forth and be brilliant.